What's up, YouTube? Um, so this video is going to be about life with a newborn. Um, so I try to... I wrote everything down. Well, not wrote everything down, but typed everything down on my phone. What to say. Um, and... Can I focus in on that? But, um... Trying to read, look down, and memorize my lines, it's not gonna happen. Um, it's 11 p.m. already on a Tuesday night, and yeah, it's been a week and a day since it's been. Yeah, uh, it's been a week and a day since we have it. We had Emmett. Um, right now, uh, life with a newborn is amazing, but also, uh, hard in a way. Every two hours, he wakes up about every two hours. It's like, he can go to four hours, but during the day when we're all up, it's every two hours. You change his diaper, either poop or pee, depends. So just say our, our typical day starts off at 6 a.m. 6 a.m. we wake up, um, we change his diaper, pee or poop, doesn't matter what it is, change his diaper, and then we wait a bit, probably like two minutes, five minutes, because he always cries when we change his diaper because the wet wipes, they're super cold. We have a wet wipe warmer, which is in his room, but right now we're in, he's in our room in the bassinet, so we don't have a warmer. So the wipes get him all crazy, like, ah, oh, crying, crying, crying. So, <clears throat> um, he gets cranky. So we, after we change his diaper at 6 a.m., we wait a bit and then we give him the bottle. We figured that out like probably three days into it um, because if we give him the bottle first and then change his diaper, like to stop him crying in the morning, um, he would get all worked up, like all from crying, crying, crying. You give him the bottle, he'll start like spitting the milk up. Not dramatically, but just like, you know, like Vava's coming, like coming out of the mouth and stuff like that. So we decided to um, change his diaper first so he can keep on crying and then cool him down by, you know, like, come on, mijo, it's all right, it's all right, baby, it's all right. And then give him the bottle. And it took us a few days to figure that out. Um, but time, there's no such thing as time. Babies don't care what your time of your your day is you have plans you know hey okay well um we're gonna try to put him to bed at uh well put him to take a nap at 4 p.m so we can make a dish or dinner no he's up at crying his lungs off at 4 a.m 4 p.m and so you can't do that you have to wait or you do uber eats or uh doordash or postmates we've done all those already um so the baby gives has no sense of time so what is time, you know? It's just whatever. I know every two hours he wakes up or we have to wake him up to feed him, but he already does it automatically. Um, it's been a week and a day now since uh, he's been born and he's already moving on to three ounces. Uh, that's a big step for him in baby terms, I'm, I'm guessing. That's what I was told, that's what we, that's what we read. Um, Cynthia and I are doing the best as we can, but back to the time, like, 6 a.m. we wake up, diaper change, feed him. I shower first, or she showers first, you know, then I burp him. I'm the master burper, I guess. I burp him, and then we get ready, and then um, by the time we're done getting ready, we have to um, feed him again. And it's, it, like, just by doing the, you know, your natural stuff that you do, like, oh, I'm gonna take a shower, I'm gonna go to the restroom, I'm gonna get breakfast. It's already two hours past, and you're like, wait, no, we just fed him. And they're like, no, that was two hours ago, or that was an hour and 45 minutes ago. I have to go, um, I have to go pump. And you're like, what, no, and you look at the time, you're like, oh shoot, six o'clock, it's now eight o'clock. You're like, okay, cool, go pump. That milk will be used for the next, the next feeding. So we give him formula. Um, 
And then just from now on, like, okay, it's lunchtime now. So we're like, hey, let's just go to all in the car. We can do some shopping also. So let's go to in and out So we drove, I drove, Cynthia's in the back, Emmett's behind me in the car seat. So we drive to in and out drive through, get our burger, and then we can get any drinks because we wanted boba. So we go to boba time to go get boba. So I go in to go get boba. She locks the doors with the windows down. And then I come back and then we eat in the car. And then we go to PetSmart to pick up the dog food. I schedule Mishka's uh, well, um, a full exam, which is tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Uh, do that, then drive back home. And then that was two hours. Then you're like, okay, cool. Like, um, hey, what time, what time did Emma eat? Oh, he ate at this time. Oh, shoot. Like, you know, like, we have a set on our phones when like every two hours to wake up to like, oh, to remind us all oh, Emma's feeding time now. Um, if he eats at six, he's gonna eat at eight. If he eats at eight, he's gonna eat at 12, you know, like that. Like we know when he's supposed to eat, but it's just crazy on how time creeps up on you. Like, it's amazing like how time gets away. Um, it's fun. Um, my boy has some strong farts. Let me tell you that, like those, that sound that comes out of him, <laughs> that's my boy. Um, I always thought that people who'd say that, oh, having a kid is hard. Um, I always thought those people are stupid. Like, like having a kid's not hard. Yes, you're supposed to have a good job. You're supposed to work, you know? I understand that, that's, that's hard. But like taking care of the baby, all they do is eat, sleep, and poop. It's not that hard. But yeah, it is. Like waking up, like we, feed, we just fed him like at 9 p.m. Um, hopefully 11.30 or 12, we'll feed him again and then he'll sleep for like four hours. That's what we that's what we hope, you know? But night in, night out, night in, night out, it takes a toll. Now I understand like, oh man, I'm, I'm so tired, I'm so tired, you know, having like waking up, it's so hard. Yeah, I see it now. I really see it. Um, it's funny. Um, hopefully like, Hopefully this video helps, not helps, but like, like when if other dads out there watch this video, you know, like, um, they understand what I'm going through, you know, like, or, uh, like, okay, like they'll get the feel of it. Like I thought I had this under control before Emmett was born. No, I didn't. Like me waking up, I'm like, what time is it? Like, like she goes, babe, Jared, um, go get the bottle. I have to go get the bottle. And you're like, where did I leave the formula? Or did, or did we did we use the uh, the breast milk? Go to the refrigerator. Oh, there's none because you used it the hour the two hours before. All that stuff. You're like trying to remember. But yeah, our lives were revolve around Emmett now. Um, we knew that when we're having him. We're super excited. But it's just funny on how um, time changes. You know, like it's for the for the best, for the good, but it's nuts. Um, dad's out there watching. Um, hopefully, I see you guys post a video of the same of talking about this. Like, um, hopefully, uh, Cynthia said that she's gonna um, she wants to make a video with me about postpartum, like after after uh, after the baby, like what she's gone through and stuff like that. Um, but I've I'll talk about what I've gone through. Also, this is just an, a video of on how our first week and a couple of days is and how time is just like flies by. Like time just doesn't exist. Um, please like and subscribe. There'll be more videos of Emmett's life with us. Um, hopefully I wanna do some more car videos. I've done one car video. Uh, I wanna do more. Also just, you know, life stuff. I'm trying to contemplate, do I take a shower tonight or tomorrow morning? I don't know. Um, I'm trying to do one take so I don't have to edit a lot, but please like and subscribe. 
uh, follow me on my social media accounts. Hopefully you watch till the end of the video, but like and subscribe and thank you so much and hope this made sense to you guys. Thank you.